Okay, the next thing I like to do is get my transmitter bound to the quad. All right, I'm gonna turn on my transmitter and go in and set up a new model and go ahead and add the name for it. All right, these next settings are spectrum specific. I'm gonna go into the servo setup. For all of the settings in the top row, I'm just gonna crank all of those up to 150. I'm gonna go up to travel and change that to reverse. And I don't know if you can see, but when I move my stick uh, left, the rudder goes right and right goes left. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and reverse rudder. And I think, yeah, aileron does the same thing. So now right goes right, left, left, right. All right, so I think we're gonna be good to go to bind. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna get this quad bound. We're gonna go ahead and plug in the quad. The first thing I wanna do is jump into the configuration section and find receiver and change it to serial based receiver and Spectrum 2048. Now go up to the ports tab and change UART 3 to Serial RX. All right, we're gonna go to CLI, get Spectrum. And this is normally set to, to zero, and I'm gonna go ahead and you can see I've set it to seven. So essentially you just set equals seven. And then you wanna set your Spectrum satellite bind to zero. And save. And you can see that the quad uh, on the receiver here, it's, we got a flashing light. Hold the bind button and turn on the transmitter. All right, and we should be bound. Go back into the CLI and change those spectrum settings that we had changed back to their defaults. Go to the receiver tab and change the channel map to spectrum. I also like to set my RC deadband to 8 and my yaw deadband to 12. Alright, now if all's gone well, you should be able to, uh, you know, yaw left, yaw right, back, forward, throttle. And the reason we set those trims was that so that the throttle goes down below 1,000 and up at least to 2,000. Alright, now that we've got the quad bound, let's jump into the configuration settings. 